were given the impression we were actually fooled because there was an understanding that Jad would pay the workers for overtime monies going all the way back to 2017. Incidentally, should have, they should have paid overtime money going all the way back to 2008. But when I got on to the case, there were some workers had agreed for 2017. So we agreed that we'd go from 2017. And we were told by Jad management that they were doing the um, accounting and they would come up with a number and they would pay. And to press their case, the workers struck one day and I was asked to speak to the workers. I took the word of the lawyers and um, Maximilian Archibald that they would pay. And the workers went back to work. They struck for less than three hours. The first understanding was that they would pay a part payment by December 16th. December 16th came and went, they did not pay. Then they said they would pay before Christmas. Christmas came and went and they did not pay. In fact, Maximilian Archibald left the country on December 16th. Christmas came, they did not pay. And then, in the early in the new year, we saw the statement in which they claimed that the economic situation, COVID, and the strike from the workers brought a crisis of confidence in the investors, and they had not paid the money. It's a canard. It's nonsense. These guys, if I am to understand what the workers said, were preparing to leech the company to do all that they wanted to do to take all of the assets out of the company because some of my clients told me that Maximilian Archibald said that the only thing we have in Mustique are a few computers.